Everybody deserves better brain health. That's why we started providing accessible and affordable neurofeedback training. Neurofeedback has been used in clinics for decades to help people improve their focus, relaxation abilities, and overall general mental well-being. Now, it's possible to do it from home using wearable and mobile technology. You train by playing games or by watching videos that respond to your brain activity for 20 to 30 minutes a day, three to five times a week. Over time, this helps in regulating your brain and can help you achieve your desired results. It starts with getting your hardware kit, which includes the Muse headset, along with an electrode and paste to be able to reliably measure your brain activity from different regions. Your neurofeedback expert will supervise your training and regularly check in on you, while your MindLift support team will make sure to answer your questions on demand via phone or chat. All done through the world's first tele-neurofeedback platform. This one Osmo in the basket is already making sure that two people are not risking their life. And the more of these we have distributed throughout the New York, the US and globally, we are doing what we can to make sure that people don't get injured, don't get hurt, and don't put their lives at risk. We believe that robots should be put to work as service operators, and the first place to start is where people are hanging hundreds of feet in the air. Skyline Robotics, we have a robot that cleans windows. So if we look at a 40-floor building that has roughly 300,000 square feet of window surface to be cleaned, it would take standard work today roughly two and a half months of actual work to clean. And with Osmo, we can do that same work in about a week. The robot actually maps the building in 3D as it approaches the building. Every obstacle that it might have, like a head popping out the window or window opening, the robot will self-correct and move around it so as not to break a window. How does it know if somebody's sticking their head out? Um, well, it has computer vision and uh, touch sensors, so it can see and feel the building. I think the first thing people think of when they see this type of system is automation is coming for our jobs. And this probably seems like the perfect example of that. People who probably don't make high wages cleaning these buildings, they're gonna be replaced by this robot. Well, I think eventually society, mankind, will be replacing dangerous jobs because it doesn't make sense for people to be risking their lives.